All right, say say goodbye to the tether. Bye, tether. So here you can see that the bolt that is connecting the chair to the base is being removed. This is with socket wrench. And it takes about oh, maybe a minute, minute and a half per bolt. There are four bolts. You'll slide the chair forward first, get rid of those first two bolts, then slide it back, get rid of those second two bolts. See right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, that we're going to be removing this airbag uh, connection next. I saw that in the front. Yeah? Yeah, you can see it from the front too. Yeah. So we're going to figure out how to do that now. What is it? There we go. Okay. Yikes. Okay. There we go. Okay, ta-da! All right, now let's figure out what to do next. All right, what we're looking at here now is the um, the place where the cables are connected under the passenger seat. The trick now will be to disconnect all three of the cables from this housing, so that the only thing that's left is the housing and the airbag cord that connect that stays connected down under the seat. You're going to keep that connected. And then we're going to detach the housing from under the seat uh, so that the, the seat can then be fully separated from the base. So then the next step will be to install the swivel base. The tip for you is to take a picture of how all the wires are configured before taking them out of that housing so that when it's time to put them back in, you know what order to put them in. Take a picture of where everything is before you take it apart. There's a little spring detent that moves up that clips the wires in. Okay, so yeah, so you just put your screwdriver in enough and it, and it pushes that little tab up, which then releases the plastic tip. Pulls right out. So to remove the housing from the bracket that's attached under the seat, there is a trick. The screwdriver, the flathead screwdriver, will fit under the tab you can see here on the back of the housing. And when you put your screwdriver in there, it forces the other little plastic tab up a little bit so that it, re it, it re releases pressure that was on the bracket so that the plastic housing can slide out. And there it is. Wonderful. So now you can set this right into the well uh, underneath your passenger seat. This is the airbag cable housing. So next up is to slide the swivel base into position so that the lever is will be under the left passenger knee under the, <laughs> the passenger's left knee. Now watch your fingers there. It is heavy, so when you place it into position, just keep in mind um, the weight, so you want to position your back comfortably, and try not to have your fingers on the sides, but use the indented areas on the front and back to lift and place it in place. There you go. What we have here is a bolt, and you can see that it has an angle uh, to its head, and that fits perfectly into this recessed hole that is at the end of the uh, bracket where the swivel mount fits into the base mount for your seat. Uh, now, you take an Allen wrench and go ahead and screw it in. What's comforting to know is that it's going into a nut that's actually welded to the uh, seat base underneath. We can't see it, but it's there. And so as you're, as you're screwing the bolt into the seat base, you will feel it gripping into the threads of the seat base as well as into the nut uh, that's welded into the seat base down below.
And you do this four times, one in each of the corners of the swivel. Okay. Also, uh, something that uh, you'll want to do, you may need to back out your screws. Um, if you tie them too tightly, it's going to be hard to make fine adjustments for the positioning of your holes on the swivel over the holes on your base. I just ran into that trying to get the next screw in, the next bolt in. There you go. Now that one is going in very, very nicely uh, because I was able to adjust it. So do not tighten your screws all at once. You want to keep them nice and loose until everything's in position and then you're going to tighten them in um, tighten them at opposite corners until they're all equally tight. It might be tempting to put a lot of force when tightening down these bolts. However, it's important to maintain the integrity of the uh, where the wrench fits in so that they can be loosened later if, if need be. It, you know, it, it is a passenger seat, it's, it's in a, a moving vehicle, so we want everything to be very secure. Tighten it as much as you can without stripping out the, uh, the heads. All right, so see this bracket here? This is the top tether for a child seat. Um, it's actually behind the passenger seat on the, toward the floor. Uh, it's going to be in the way of your swivel. You're not going to be able to swivel by that. So we're going to show you how to remove it. All right, say, say goodbye to the tether. Bye, tether. The magic of a grinder. Now we'll buff up the edges so they're not sharp, and then we'll spray them black with Rust-Oleum. Yep. So that, that just smooths off some of the edges, but you could also use a metal file. Yep. To prevent rusting of the cut metal, we're applying Rust-Oleum. And when you do this, you'll want to obviously protect the area so that overspray doesn't get onto the van surfaces. A little goes a long way. And there we go. So this is actually going to be full now. We're putting the seat down on the base with the airbag control. Uh, pulled up through the center of the swivel and is under the seat. It is back on the base, but it's not bolted in. We're going to bolt it in and do the wire attachments and then test it out because uh, we're really curious about that handle on the swivel. That handle on the swivel is awfully narrow. There's really not a grip on it and it's recessed kind of far back. So we want to see if we have it all positioned correctly. So in order to attach the bolts to the tracks that are attached to the seat, um, so that the swivel, the track are, are bolted in together, we've swiveled the seat at an angle so that you know you can get under neath the base. The bolt is is pushed up from the bottom, from underneath the track. Then there's a washer, then there's a nut. So this is using the 13 millimeter box and wrench and socket. That was the back uh, two bolts, and now it's time for the two front bolts. This is, you can see here, the trigger, where is it? The release for the swivel is right there. We, we had it pulled up in the center of the swivel base, but it didn't quite reach the um, bracket that it connects to underneath the seat. 
So now we're trying to see where to pull it up through the swivel base that makes sense in order for it to not catch when it swivels, but also be able to reach that metal bracket. Depending on your make and model the vehicle, you're gonna uh, have to figure this out uh, for yourself as well. So definitely plan accordingly. There are these brackets that clip onto posts underneath that are just basically threaded rods sticking out with zip ties on them. You can just use a flathead screwdriver and pry them off or cut the zip ties and that gives you more slack to run your table through the center of your swivel. So now you can see that all the wires are back in place. Let's see if they swivel with the seat without getting caught. Da, 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 da. The seat is swiveling and the wires are turning with it up through the center of the swivel base. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Fantastic! Hurrah! Look at that! A swiveling seat!